for his belt, just has to take care of business here in his second two games of Group D action. If you're just joining us though, Mills and True Boy move on uh, from Group C. We're in Group D right now. Young Kiv, Hollywood, Kerry Q, and Volterax in this group. Young Kiv, Kerry Q, both 1-0 and oh so far, and we have a fourth and four right now. Early in this game, Young Kiv gonna go for it. Good time out by Kerry. Saw that Kiv was gonna go for it, made sure he got it into the right defense. And in the first half, you need to use those timeouts because you can't take them with you in the second half. This might be a free play. Downfield, you were right, there's a flag on the play. Let's see what they call it. It is against the defense, and we hear Young Kiv saying, I can't accept that. Well, based off of the rules, he can, but we saw Mills decline a penalty as well earlier, and Kiv shows all the class in the world. The Integrity Award goes to Young Kiv, and Mills is clapping because he did the same thing earlier today. One thing in competitive Madden is these guys have so much respect for each other. Usually when you're playing games behind the scenes or on the ladder, when two high-level players compete, a lot of times they'll decline off sides because they feel it's a random penalty. And Kiv just showing so much class. I hate to say it. If it was me, AJ, I'd have to go scum, savage, whatever you want to call it. I'm accepting that penalty so fast it'll scare you. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd definitely be tempted. So Kerry Q takes over here at the 31-yard line. Great field position. Marcus Mariota, his quarterback, the team of the week. 91 overall quarterback. This is going to be interesting. Everyone, one of the talks amongst the competitors in this is Kerry Q got a playbook that has the formation that he's very comfortable in. It's this single back tight doubles type formation and he has all the personnel he needs to run it. He has two tight ends in Delaney Walker, Jared Cook, two wide receivers and Jordan Matthew and Michael Thomas and then he also has Adrian Peterson. So Kerry is going to be very comfortable on offense. Very good offense. He actually drafted 15 elites, which puts him in the top of the class of these 16 from the draft champions drafts. Nice completion there for a first down by Kerry Q, brought down at the 10 yard line. If you're Kiv, you, you got to be careful. Giving Kerry Q an inch, he's not the type of player you want to give an inch, and declining that penalty could come back to haunt you. You got to remember, both of these guys are 1 0. So you got to think the winner of this game is most likely to advance out of this group. That, that was huge. Let's see if Kerry can capitalize. Big conversion there by Kerry. Fresh set of downs here from the 10. Very close to being a first and goal, but he will have an opportunity to get a first if he needs it. Adrian Peterson with the carry brought down at the line of scrimmage on that one. Look at that. Send out all out man blitz. If you want to stop the run, that's the way to do it. You go down to a 3 4, you send those linebackers, play some man coverage, put all the safeties in the box like he's got right now. Now that's run defense, if you ask me. Mariota back to pass, now rolling right. He has some speed. Decides to throw it out of bounds when he couldn't find an open target. So that brings up a third and ten, RG. Very good defense right there from Kev. And locking up Kerry single back deuce close formation. This is the formation that the competitors were talking about where Kerry is very confident in it. But so far, so good for Kev. And in motion, Kerry back. Mariota, his quarterback, playing draft champions here. He throws it into the end zone. That is to Thomas for a touchdown. Wow, looked like he threw that into coverage, but the big six foot three Thomas goes up and makes a huge play for Kerry. And he is in control early. Look at Thomas in traffic, breaks towards the sideline, right in between the safety and the corner. Great grab there by Michael Thomas, the team of the week. 91 overall. Actually plays for the New Orleans Saints. Let's throw it to Zach for a quick update on our other game. Volt drove down on his first one, gave it to David Johnson, got down to the one where he snuck it in with Phillip Rivers on fourth and goal. He's up 7-0 over Holly. Hollywood down again right now to start his second game. Young Kiv back on offense. After turning the ball over on downs on his opening drive, he completes that one for a six-yard gain. 
He's back in that gun formation. Couple hot routes, 10 seconds still on the play clock. Motion out left is Jerry Rice, trying to get him open on the delayed slant. They thought that might be still live, and they finally mark it down. So an incomplete pass. Now third and four here for Young Kiv. Hey, he used to Jerry Rice holding on to those slants, but that was good defense by Kerry. That motion slant is a very popular tactic amongst these players, and Kerry had a defender over there sitting on it. That was great defense. Throw to the side, that's Jerry Rice. This time he does hang on to it. Past the 10, into the end zone as he dives onto that NFC logo. Well, we said Touchdown, young kid. Kerry had a defender underneath playing the slant route. Well, Kev sees that, you're gonna keep some guys underneath. That means you only got one, I got one on one over the top. DB gets a little too aggressive, misplays it, and Jerry Rice catches it and goes to the cripple. Looked like Kerry tried to play the SWAT there. Or maybe he was trying to strip it, but he flails and misses on it. And Young Kiv has a free touchdown there to Jerry Rice. Guess I shouldn't say free, but definitely not. Beat one, beat one guy there. <laughs> Absolutely. And these guys are going at it. Remember, this is their first time playing. You know, that you got you got the feeling out process that's going on. We got a pretty even matchup. But right now, the advantage is in Kerry's favor because he has the ball in a tight ball game and will be getting the ball at half as well. He starts at the 25. Handoff. Play action, actually. Caught me slipping there. Throws a completion to Adrian Peterson. Oh! Jukes out a couple players. That's so bad. That's and finally brought down at the 39-yard line. I'm not sure what Kib was talking about when he said that was so bad. Maybe just well, those missed tackles there. Well, well, the frustration that he has is there was a defender in the vicinity, but that defender was rolling out with the quarterback and didn't have his feet set to make a play on the ball. Just because your defender's in the vicinity sometimes doesn't mean he's automatically going to make a play on the ball. Ed. So Carey handing it off to Peterson, who has a hole. And brought down at the 30-yard line, second and inches now. We throw it to Zach for a quick update. AJ, Hollywood answered with a 10-play, 80-yard drive. He then immediately picked off Bolt on his next thing. He's got five minutes left in the second quarter with the ball. Big play there by Hollywood. As Carey runs this one out of bounds, and Adrian Peterson has been an absolute monster in this tournament. Saw stick work using him. And you'd expect them to be a monster. You only get one legend round in draft champions, and Adrian Peterson's who these guys took in their legend round. So, And we've seen those legends make plays all day today. We saw the touchdown from Jerry Rice for Kibb. We saw J.J. Watt forcing a lot of fumbles. Those legend players are going to be key to everybody's team, and you need to find ways to utilize them. All of our players here uh, at this tournament are very elite and know exactly how to do that, which is why we've been seeing the legends get busy all weekend long. Second and four from the 17. Hand off to Peterson. Peterson has some space. Breaks Risky. one tackle. Finally brought down at the one yard line. And he is just breaking tackles left and right right now. Yeah, they said Bears can't run downhill. But look at this Grizzly just making moves right towards the end zone. Stopped at the one. A big run there to bring up another first down. Fresh set for Kerry Q. From the one, 42 remaining here in the first quarter. And that run is snuffed out. Good goal line defense from Kim. Terry sees something he likes maybe. Tried the fullback dive to Ivory there. I don't like to hurry up because you know he's not, you know he doesn't have to toss. Yeah, good time out from Kerry. He, had the, he came out on fullback dive and you know he doesn't have a toss in his audibles. So it became very obvious what type of play call he would have had it, had he stuck into that hurry up. But good, uh, good job to call a timeout, reassess the situation, and make him think a little bit. Some high-level Madden right there, RG, just knowing exactly what your opponent is capable of running out of a certain formation. Exactly, AJ, exactly. And that was the situation Kerry found himself in. Kib knew, Kib knew Kerry only had limited options, but called the timeout. Very smart. 
Single back set here. Nine seconds on the play clock. Three yard line handoff to Peterson. Peterson is brought down again behind the line of scrimmage at the four. Big decision here. What does he have in up his sleeve with this uh, third and goal? You gotta watch the angle up from the tight end. No quick hike run to AP. Oh. Does he fall forward? No. That time he does not fall forward. So now we have a real decision. Fourth and goal. What's you gonna do, Kerry? This is go it. into the second quarter. Kerry can either take his three points or try to go for a touchdown here. And this is where Kiv can get the momentum back from earlier in the game when he went for and out and Kerry got the ball. Kiv can get it all back right here. It's like he feels confident. Kiv bringing everyone to the middle there. And look at that tackle behind the line of scrimmage by Harper Adrian Peterson. Does not break that tackle, and Carey can't believe it. Kiva is stingy on the goal line. So great defensive stand there by young kid. He takes over on offense at the five. Throw over to the flats to Henry. Henry tiptoes, staying in bounds, and finally pushed out at the 19, so another first. And you saw that stiff arm. Henry's a big body. He is hard to take down. He is almost as hard to take down as that Adrian Peterson, so expect to see more of that from Henry throughout this game. That pass into the flats is good enough for another first down. And if you're Kip, you're feeling good. You were just backed up way on your goal line, and just like that, in two plays, you got it out to the 31-yard line. So looking really good so far on this drive is the Kipper. Pressure is on. He throws towards the sideline. They're not going to give him the catch. So second down here for young kid. After that huge defensive stand he just had against Kerry Q. Here at the Madden Challenge. We are in group D right now. Plenty of time to complete that one to Jerry Rice, who had a man on his heels. The second tackler comes in and lays the hit on him. Good enough for a six-yard gain. Everything about that play was fantastic. Kip kept the tight end into block to give the wheel route time to get past the flat zone. Carey recognized the wheel route going up the sideline, manually guarded it, and then Kiv checked down. Nice little oh, corner okay. there. He has plenty of space. Baldwin cutting back and forth into the end zone. The Strip attempt is no good by Kerry Q. Nice try there at the goal line, but Kiv is going to get in for the score. Yeah, that's a mistake by Kerry. He clicks onto the defender and immediately tries to attempt the strip, which is why he whiffed right there, even though he didn't have the angle. You'll see it in this replay. See him click on, press that RP button. He whiffs at nothing, and that allows Kiv to get the rack after the catch. If you're Kerry, you need to just go for the conservative tackle and live to fight another down right there. A little bit too aggressive by Kerry on on that defense and it cost him six, seven. He does seem very aggressive with the strip attempts right now, just instead of playing a conservative tackle. Rolling right here is Mariota who throws it out of bounds. That's gonna bring up a second and 10. Double tight guys, double tight. Mariota under center again, Peterson behind him. Backpedaling, throwing to a wide open Cook, who is brought down at about the 39 yard line. Let's throw it to Zach for a quick update. Thanks, AJ. Hollywood, after an interception, turns it into three points, 10 7, but he's going to have to turn it into more than that because Volt just went down and scored. It's now 13 10, pending an extra point with two minutes to go in the second quarter. Thank you for that, Zach. Bringing us the hot updates from the second game all day. Right now, Mariota uh -oh. almost throwing an interception. That was almost a costly mistake there by Kerry Q. And to put this game into perspective for you, AJ, everyone that made it here at this event guaranteed themselves $2,000. The winner of this game most likely makes it out of group play and into the final eight of the Madden Challenge. Once you make it into the final eight of the Madden Challenge, you guarantee yourself $6,000. So this one game alone could, is potential $4,000 more in your pocket 
with the potential to make that a lot more money. So to make that fifty thousand dollars. So this is a big game. It's not just any game. When you put the racks on the line, things get a little bit more different. Both these guys definitely used to uh, I'm challenging. playing I'm challenging for big the things play. on the line. I'm challenging. It looks the like play. Young Kiv is going. He's challenging the play. No big deal. No big deal. We're, we're, allowed, we're allowed to challenge the play. Let's take a look. He's probably challenging the spot of the first down. Nice slow motion. Good work by the production team in the back. You don't usually even get those angles in Madden. Wow, <laughs> I'm feeling it, eh? Close call. Kiv didn't like it, so he challenges the play. But nonetheless, it was close. Carey's going to get the first down. Now it's second and six from the 47. Mariota throwing to Walker. Walker with a little space pushed out of bounds at the 35. Carey Q actually said Madden got him into the NFL. Playing Madden got him into watching NFL football. He also played Pop Warner. He was a junior All-American and high school football player. He played with the likes of Mark Sanchez, Ronnie Hillman, and Marvin Jones, RG. Yeah, he's an athlete. Another interesting stat about Kerry Q is the guy that got him into playing Madden is his dad, Kim Lee, who pretty much labbed him up. You know how good I would have been at Madden if my dad took time to lab me up in the game? So no wonder he's here on the big stage. And not only that did his dad lap him up, his dad still watches Madden until this day. He's a, as a matter of fact, he's a huge Dub Dot Dubby fan. Watches his stream on the regular. <laughs> hey, Dad. Aren't you, we all? Aren't we all? If my dad's watching, you can take some lessons from Carrie's dad. Get involved, man. There's a dot right there on the sideline by Carey into the end zone. And talk about Papa Kim Lee. He must be amped right now watching his son get it done against the young Kipper. And we got ourselves a tie ball game, eh? Let's take a look at that again, RG. What happens? He playmakers him. It's left trigger, up on the right stick, tells that closest receiver to him, hey, go upfield, slangs it to him behind the zone, and makes it happen. That was a beautiful play there along the sideline for that touchdown. So it's a tie ball game now here in the second quarter. 14 all between these two juggernauts in Group D. This has been a great game so far, eh? Who wants to get out of groups? Got to fight for it. Aaron Rodgers going to take off. Then throws it. That was going to be a close one. He completes the pass to Henry. So quick action there. That is some high-level stick work. High-level Madden for sure. The stick work on everybody on that play was phenomenal. Kerry comes running down after the quarterback. The quarterback easy, with the easy, crispy easy. scramble. As soon as he is about to get hit, dumps it to the flat. The user truck stick for some extra yardage. Everybody putting in work right there on that play. Aaron Rodgers back. Glory. Throwing deep. Glory. He has Jerry Rice. Shoestring tackle that time. David does get to him but not before Jerry Rice was able to get behind the coverage and that, pick up a big play. And that's a good read by Kiv. You see the linebacker on Rice right there. That's what I call a bluff lurk. Even though Kerry was in that vicinity, he wasn't in position enough to make a play on the ball. And sometimes you need to call people's lurk out. They're kind of bluffing like, hey, I'm in the area, but you know what? I know you can't make a play, so I'm still going to throw in your direction and test you exactly what Kiv did right there and got rewarded for it. Called out the bluff lurk. Aaron Rodgers out of the gun, throws to his left into the flats. That's Henry. Henry pushed out of bounds at the four. 10, 15, 250 yards and two touchdowns. And that's what we were talking about with Kerry. You need to start getting some pressure on A-Rod because Kiv will slang this rock all over the field if you don't. And that's what he's been doing thus far in the first half. Rodgers. Sneaks that one for a quick first down, and he's going to hurry up his offense with 34 seconds remaining here in the first half. Kiv still does have two timeouts. Well, if you're Kiv, take your time. Take your time. If you milk all this clock right here, you could leave Carey with about 10 seconds left if you were to score on this play. Carey is to Derrick Henry. Henry brought down at the one. What's Kiv doing? Is Kiv going to call a timeout? Uh, I think he's saving them. Could be, this could be costly, though. Calling a quick play there. That is the there it is. motivator, 98 or 90 overall motivator, Derrick Henry. Strong back. 
Ryan's a beast. High formation here from the one yard line. Man motion to the left. Look at Carey, he's got everybody in the box. Two. Look at all, oh, spreads him out. Does he see something coming? Hands it off to Henry. Henry brought down from behind and stopped at the one again. So good goal line defense again by Kerry Lee. Yeah, Kerry looking stinged on the goal line. And he had goons in that box, AJ. All 11 defenders sitting in there ready to sniff out the run. Not making it easy for Kivlin. So big play here. Third and goal for Kerry Q. He's back in the shotgun formation this time. Well, sorry. This is big for both of them, actually. This is especially big for Kiv, who's on offense. Ten seconds on the play clock. No more timeouts. Into the corner of the end zone. What a grab, but he's not going to count it. And he can't challenge that one. He needs the booth to challenge it. It's under two minutes left. Let's take a look at it again. I thought he might have them both in, RG. They look good. So we're going to see this again. He gets a fourth down attempt here. Kim's going to go for it. Wow. Oh, no. I think you need to just take your points, Kim. Oh, he's hiked it. Hands it off to Henry, so it doesn't matter. As Derrick Henry. Scampers into the end zone. He probably thought he should have had it on that pass, but he gets it back anyway with that run by Derrick Henry. So Kiv is going to take a 21 to 14 lead here before the half. Look at him gambling on fourth down with no minimal time left in the half. Could have went into the second half in a tie ball game instead. Up seven. Gamble pays off. Here's the return by Kerry Lee. Kerry Q. Brought down at the 27. So he's going to have one second. One second to try his luck downfield. Hands it off to Peterson. He's just going to run around and try oh. to just. Oh, man. I don't know why you don't just run it out of bounds. Yeah, he got, almost got creative on that one. Eh? If the quarterback wasn't in the way, he might have been able to reverse field and try to make something happen, especially with Adrian Peterson. So at the half, at the half, Young Kiv leading this one 21 to 14. Let's throw it to Tyler in the game. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Young Kiv not playing around today. He is a man on a mission. Huge gamble right there. Uh, at the end of the ball game to get that touchdown. He's up 21 to 14 over Kerry Q. Rico, thoughts? That call was absolutely huge. To have that few seconds left and to make that call with no timeouts, that could be the difference in the game. We're going to find out. Let's go ahead and update you guys on the other match that was going on. That's Hollywood taking on Volterax. Zach? Volt picks it up with a 15-yard touchdown run, which he would sneak in with Phillip Rivers on fourth down. Seven, nothing. A long pass downfield. You see it green. This leads to a score tie game. Hollywood went up 10-7. However, boom, Volt downfield gets the score, makes it 14-10. He would sneak in on a halfback draw before the half at 21-10. But then after the half, Hollywood comes out on his first drive, makes easy work, and gets to 21-18 right now. But Volt is driving down inside the red zone, so we'll keep you up to date on all that action. This is a great game going on on that side stage. Yeah, speaking of action, don't forget, guys, follow the content on YouTube. Don't miss out on any of the action. Catch up on all the highlights from the Madden Challenge on YouTube.com slash EA Sports. At this time, I want to hear from the players themselves. Before we get to that, though, let's go and show you the group standings right now, the group schedule, as you see right there, Young Kiv took on Hollywood earlier today, defeated him. Young Kiv taking on Kerry Q right now, and Young Kiv again taking on Volta Rax. Let's go ahead and hear from Kerry Q right now down on the field with Drea. Drea? Thanks, Tyler. Well, Kerry, so far today, Kiv has made these statement plays at the end of the half. How would you rate your performance against him so far? I'm playing good. I'm moving the ball easy. He runs a bunch of formation, I know, but he has his own un unique way of running it, so it's pretty hard to stop, and 
we've never played before. So. so getting kind of familiar with him, what's the biggest change you need to make on the defensive side of the ball? Probably uh, man up some more people. Man up. Let's send it to AJ and RG. Man up some more people there, RG, but uh, a great first half there from young Kiv and Kerry Q. Uh, one interesting thing about Kerry Q, he told me before this thing started was, you know, he's playing Madden full-time right now, but if he wins this tournament, he wants to start a catering business. He wants to use the money and start a catering business. He wants to, uh, you know, cater soul food, actually. Soul food, as long yeah, as he he's, in, he's into a, it. I'll take some mac and cheese, some collard greens, some yams, a little bit of fried chicken. Send them my way, Carrie. If you, I don't got a horse in the race, but if you say there's some soul food in it for me, you know, <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. Let's see how he does here in the second half. He starts off with the football at the 24 yard line. That's a complete pass to Matthews, who's pushed out of bounds at the 34. Carrie trying to come back in this one after. Giving up that costly touchdown right before the half. Hand off to Peterson, who is truck stick right there at the 35, but he does pick up a first down. Adrian Peterson hangs onto the football so well. He's got speed, size, everything. Definitely one of the legends of the game already. He's not even done playing. That yeah, kid with 250 passing yards in the first half. And oh my Peterson, goodness. just like that, what great you got? free. What you got? Another one. Nobody's going to catch him past the five into the end zone as he spins in. And a nice run by Adrian Peterson. Man, you got to start considering putting this Adrian Peterson on your salary cap team in the Madden Championship. I like what I see. I'm not going to lie, RG. I kind of. I might need that guy for my lineup. Keep the replay, A. Hey. Look at him. CA spin. Broken tackle. Oh, you're going to hunt me down. Nah, bad angle, and he's out. Five guys had a shot at him. None of them could make it happen, and Adrian Peterson is a beast. If you guys are ultimate team players yourself, you can look out for Adrian Peterson. That is the legend 96 overall. You know, that guy is unsigned right now in the free agent Which market. Which is kind of crazy. I wouldn't mind him on the Broncos, personally. Oh, imagine if the Patriots got him. Oh, my goodness. I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> Derrick Henry with the carry there. Brought down at the 33. Four-yard gain on that one. What a way to answer if you're Terry Lee. Get the ball out at halftime after you give, gave up that fourth down touchdown going into the second half and what a way to answer back these guys are just going blow for blow it's like a boxing match where they just stand in the middle of the ring and let it go and let it go thrown to jerry rice he's wide open and he catches that one he just beat his man and you hear him say he is fast <laughs> what a great catch by Jerry Rice, who's going to put him back on top. He is the GOAT, and he's going for glory. And if you're Kerry Q, you talk about halftime, I need to start manning some people up. Maybe you throw an extra man on Jerry Rice because he is killing you right now. And right when we're saying they're going blow for right. blow, Kip just lets one rip for a huge touchdown. This game is amazing. I mean, if, if you're if you're Kerry Q, you got to be a little surprised. You have your... 95 overall man of the month Patrick Peterson on him and he just gets burned. Well he caught him pressing. He's not invincible, eh? Especially going up against Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice the goat for a reason. Mariota Good trying to make some time. Throws it out of bounds. Good defense there. By Young Kiv again. And smart by Kerry. I always go back to it, but you see how often these elite level players click in that right stick to throw the ball away rather than force it down the field. Another nice run there by Peterson, who almost breaks that last tackle. He has over 100 yards so far on the day in that long touchdown run. Mariota looking over the middle to Walker. Walker can't hang on to it as it's knocked loose. Let's take a look at some of these guys watching right now. You've got Skimbo, who will be moving on. <laughs> to the quarterfinals, throwing up the deuces. Of course, Dubby and Boogs right there. Mills over there. Bandana Mills. Joe, Joe Rice as well. The frenemies are now friends again, the Frenemies huh? are, are now friends again. Between Dubby and Skimbo. No love lost on the football field, but these uh, virtual gridiron, I should say. But 
Yeah, these guys are definitely buddies. And that's how the Madden community is. You, you meet a lot of good people. You build a lot of friendships over the years. You meet everyone at these tournaments. You share these experiences. And besides the game and the money and all that stuff, it's those type of stories that make this community what it is, eh? Mariota dropping back, looking over the middle again. He has Cook. And Cook with another grab. Nice first down there on the conversion by Kerry Q. Kerry Q, a good stick work right there. He clicked on and cut underneath that ball to make that user catch. Had he not done that, I don't think that would have been a completion, AJ. That wouldn't have been a completion, as a matter of fact. It's the flashback elite Jerry Cook on the reception. Peterson with the carry. Let's go to Zach for a quick update on our other game. AJ, you're looking live at Hollywood. He's inside the red zone with a second and goal against Volt. He trails by six. He's got Todd Gurley, used him to get down in there, but he has to punch it in. He's settled for field goals so far all day long. Let's see if he can get it on this pass. High point, touchdown. Ed McCaffrey hangs on, and Hollywood, pending an extra point, is going to take a one-point lead over Volt. Back to you guys. What a back and forth matchup there between Volterax and Hollywood. Hollywood with the comeback punch on that one, taking a one point lead. Right now, Kerry Q and those Cowboys blue uniforms trying to score and tie this one up. Marcus Mariota now rolling got right. He's got, got a man him. wide open. Peterson does not hang on to it. Went for the rack catch oh. instead of the possession catch. Adrian Peterson getting it done on the ground all day, but that's tough. Not as good through the air. That's a tough break for Carey. That's very frustrating if you carry. Throw oh. over the middle, and this time it's intercepted. Poor Salt on that wound right now is that second attempt there is intercepted by Kiv. Great play. Oh no. If you're Kerry, though, I, I like how Kerry, you saw Kerry throw that interception, and he was an emotionless. You see him up on the main stage. He's still as focused and as locked in as ever, and I like that. Most people usually go on tilt after a situation like that where you had a free touchdown. Next, your wide receiver drops it, makes a mistake. Next play, you throw an interception. That's very frustrating. Kerry didn't even blink. He's still locked in, and that's the type of mentality you need to have if you want to make moves here on the big stage. Out of the shotgun is young Kiv now. He throws it over to the left side. The pass is complete. Kiv is just slanging. That is a tough uh, turnover there by Kerry Q, who was marching down to try to tie this ball game up. Now he's got to lock up. Got to start watching out for Jerry Rice. He's been killing you all game long. You better man somebody up on him or something. There he goes in motion. Got to watch out for Rice, Kerry. On the delayed slant, throws it this time to his wide receiver who grabs that one for a first down. And Kiv would have dotted me on that one because Carey definitely was watching out for Rice underneath. Carey sent the receiver over top of him. Uh, Kiv sent the receiver over top of him and had the completion. Great play calling right there by Kiv. Dontrell Inman with the reception. This, th this time a handoff to Derrick Henry who's brought down behind the line. Probably going to take this to the fourth. Be interesting to see if Kip runs another play here. Yeah, he's bluffing. He ain't going to snap it. Put your fours up. Just like that, we're going into the fourth quarter, RG. 28 to 21 the score right now in this close game. Just a back and forth matchup between these two, Kerry Q and Young Kiv. I do find it interesting that it's this close and these guys have never played before. You usually, or I, I should say sometimes you see those things become blowouts if a guy quickly identifies a weakness. But both these guys have played very well. Well, they're both world-class elite players and the skill gap between these two is very minimal. So uh, I'm not surprised on this one, A. Eh? Very slim indeed. Only about 10 spots between them. Gary Q ranked 18th in MCS points, while Young Kiv is ranked eighth. After that incomplete pass, let's throw it to Zach for another update. 
Three minutes to go. Volt goes to PA, wide receiver in against the nickel blitz too, and he gets a big play, and not just that, he gets a two-point conversion to take a seven-point lead over Hollywood. Wow. So Volterax fighting for his bread right now, trying to put away Hollywood. It's funny because you see Volterax, so every time we check in with Zach, it seems like Volterax is getting a big game deep downfield. And it does, the thing that's not surprising about that is though he doesn't pass the ball as much as everybody, he averages the most passing yards per attempt on his completions. And uh, you're seeing that in those highlights. Easy, 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 easy. Fourth quarter here, we got four minutes remaining. Eight on the play clock. Aaron Rodgers, the defense, avoiding the pressure, going to run for it. Slides at the 50-yard line, five-yard gain on that play. That was a good play by everybody right there. Smart decision by Kiv to roll out. Nothing was open. Slide. Carry broke off to stop the scramble. High-level Madden all around. Everyone doing their job. Jerry Rice in motion. Rodgers. Looking over the middle, he has a man. And that's Baldwin for another first down. Everybody was open on that play too, right? My it's goodness. An open ball when we've gotten open, and that's not a good sign if you carry. And what's even worse about that completion, is that moves Kiv into field goal range, and you already know how I feel, A. Eh? Two possess he can make it two possessions. You just, your top concern right now is don't turn the ball over, kill as much clock as he can. Take three if you have to. This isn't shot play time. Derrick Henry with the carry, and he's brought down quickly. Gain of two on that run, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Young Kiv is one of the toughest competitors, especially when you give him a two-possession game. It's going to be interesting because, you know, we look back at that play with the dropped uh, reception by his running back, so those guys don't always have the best hands, but he drops that one and then throws the interception on the next play. Who knows what would have happened, but... Whoa. Right now he's got to lock up, lock in on defense. Whoa. This time he does with a sack. And there it is. Kerry getting pressure on him. And Kip needs to be careful about not getting out of field goal range. And remember, this is draft champions. These kickers can't boot the ball too far. He better not, wearing the Seahawks uniforms, he better not pull the Seattle Seahawks in the Super Bowl against the Patriots and keep slanging that rock. You need to run the ball, Kip, and take you three in this situation, man. Does have a good running back in Derrick Henry. Might as well use him. This is a big play. This isn't, this isn't an easy field goal for Kiv. He needs to pick up some yards here. So he football outsiders elite edition of Justin Houston puts young Kiv on his heels. A third and 18 now. See if Kerry gets aggressive. Yep, there's the heat. Going to the right side. The tackle is missed, but the wide receiver runs out of bounds. That's Inman again. And that's going to force a fourth and 14. So he's going to kick his three. That, that was the four yards Kip needed. Now the field goal is way more manageable than it was prior. So look out to see if it. Carey blocks it, exactly. Yeah, if you Kip, you got to be careful. Not a decent jump, but Kip kicks it through pretty easily there. So he takes a 10-point lead. 151 remaining again. Carey does have all his timeouts. Yes, this is very similar to the situation we saw Dubby in against Skimbo at the Madden Ball, where Skimbo was up 10 points, Dubby got the ball with all three of his timeouts and was able to come back and win the game. Pretty much the exact same scenario. So let's see if Kerry can get himself a quick score and then a stop with those three timeouts to get himself a money drive. Or as I like to call it, the guap drive. Big drive ahead of him either way, whatever you call it. 147 remaining in this ball game. Kerry Q 1-0. Young Kiv 1-0. And a big sack there on the play for a six-yard loss. That's going to chew up some more of that clock. Yeah, and that's important for Kiv. You want that clock to stay moving. You're willing to give up short passes underneath. You just want to make sure the clock stays moving. Uh-oh, that's a dot trick. Nice throw. He hangs on to it. What are they going to say? They are going to say it's a catch, so big throw downfield, out of bounds at the 44, and it stops the clock. That is about 
<laughs> the best you can do right there. Exactly, right what I'm saying. If you're a kid, you want to give up short passes underneath to keep the clock moving. He Here's a carry. run by Peterson. One man to beat. And he doesn't do it. You saw Carey cut back inside. He thought he had space. Didn't run out of bounds. I would have done the same thing, I guess, but it was a close play. Shoestring tackle there. This time he's wrangled in the backfield. 1-0-2 remaining here in the game. All six timeouts remaining here in the second half. Marcus Mariota with pressure, and he's brought down for another sack. So third and 17 now, RG. This is... This is decision time. Harry needs to hurry up. He needs to get a sense of urgency going. He's going to kick the field goal. Yep. He's going to kick the field goal early. Get it out of the way. He knows he needed one. Keep all three timeouts. Preserve time on the clock and see if you can get the ball back. And we've seen that defense be so stingy for young Kiv in that red zone. I don't blame him for going for it there. You might be asking yourself, why would a guy kick a field goal on third down? But just like you said, RG, they're trying to get those three points out of the way and try to lock up here with 37 seconds in all three timeouts. Could have went for an onside kick right there. Instead, he doesn't because he's scared that if Kiv was to recover it, he's already right. in easy field goal range to make it two possessions. So he figures, I got three timeouts. Let me go ahead and just lock them up and get this ball back. And it looks like Kiv's going to get aggressive. Yeah, Kiv is. But no, another funny. thing to remember, too, Kerry's trying to take points wherever he can get them because he knows... The point differential is going to matter down the stretch, especially as we get into that third game of this Group D. Sometimes you just bring heat, eh? Good point. So 31-24 the score. Young Kiv with the football and the lead. Only 33 seconds remaining. Two timeouts. Derrick Henry has space. Oh. He stops him. I thought he might could have had that. It's a game of inches, and sometimes you need to just fight for that inch. And here we go, one yard. Can you stand up for yourself, Kerry Lee? Give you chance to give yourself a chance to get back into this ball game. Look at the focus, eh? This is it. You got sneak D? Looks like he's expecting that quarterback sneak. The question is, is Kib going to do that or is he bluffing right now with all these hot routes? Let me hold the door. Hands it off to Henry. Henry looks like he has it. That's first down. Game. That's the ball game. So good. Good stand there by young Kiv to hold on to the lead as he continues to let the clock run. That's going to wrap up this ball game. So young Kiv's going to move on to 2-0 and in Group D. Carry Q, 1-1. Not a bad game for their first matchup ever, RG. Oh, that was a fantastic game. I thoroughly enjoyed watching that one, eh? So once again, a very impressive win there by Young Kiv. He hangs on in a close one, beats Kerry Q by seven. Uh, what did you like from Young Kiv in that one? Well, a lot of composure, a lot of guts, went for it before half, scored the touchdown, confident in his game, didn't get too frustrated when things didn't go his way at times, and he did a fantastic job of getting his superstar, Jerry Rice, involved in that game. Yeah, we're going to have a really good game now uh, with Kerry Lee against Hollywood. Hollywood... Uh, you know, obviously fighting hard, but uh, Kerry Q really needs a win in this last game. So we will see how he comes out. And right now we've got Drea, who's with our winner. Yes, thanks, AJ. Kiv, you were really aggressive down the stretch there, especially that last drive. Impressed everybody here. Take me through that. Um, I'm pretty aggressive on offense, so I like to pass the ball, and that's just what I'm confident in, so that's what I did, really. Your demeanor, you've really matured. I've watched you so many times, and you were even keel throughout the whole matchup. In both matchups, you were you used to be a lot more emotional. Tell me about the change and just how you've evolved. Um, just playing my game. When something doesn't go my way, I just got to shake it off and on to the next play, really. Problem is here. Shout out to Problem. He's your mentor. What do you want to say to him? I know he was cheering you pretty much on every down, him and his wife. Shout them out. Um, shout out to Problem for all he's done for me, and then uh, I'm going to win this one because he's not here. <laughs> all right. Well, let's send it to Tyler and the guys. All right. Thanks, Drea.